The Smallest Girl in the Smallest Grave by Justin Roberts. Hardly anyone noticed young Sally McCabe. She was the smallest girl in the smallest grade. Sure, her name could be heard in the daily roll call and she marched with her books down the same school hall, but hardly anyone noticed young Sally McCabe. And they certainly didn't know, or at least didn't mention, that she was paying super special extra attention. To the abandoned kite with a tangled string, to the 27 keys on the janitor's ring, to the leaves that they turned green to gold in the fall, and to the time Tommy Torin tripped in the hall. She watched as the wildflowers tipped toward the light and heard the howl of a hound dog late one night. She was there when the stray cats who normally fought conducted a meeting in the church parking lot. She saw Kevin McCune get pushed off the slide and the oncoming tears that he wanted to hide. And she'll never forget that parent-teacher day when Billy's much larger father suddenly dragged him away. But through all the mean words and all the cold stares, no one ever noticed that Sally was there. And they certainly didn't know, or at least didn't mention, that Sally was paying super extra special attention. She'd seen how a whisper could make someone cower, like a bulldozer crushing through a field of wild flowers. And it kept piling up this discarded debris, those beautiful kites tangled in the tree. So on February 3rd at 11.29, Sally stepped straight out of the lunchtime line. She said, I'm tired of seeing this terrible stuff. Stop hurting each other. This is enough. Now, a few laughed out loud or didn't care that there was some girl with her hand in the air. But then something super extra special happened that day as Howard O'Henry suddenly set down his tray. And though hound dogs were destined to howl at night and most stray cats' meetings would end up as fights, the kites would continue to get stuck in the trees. They all felt for a moment like the janitor's keys, fastened together with a heavy steel ring that held all the secrets to unlock everything. As the world returned to the way that it was, Sally noticed a difference as she usually does. When Billy paused briefly to open the door for Mrs. O'Connell and 17 more, or when Molly scooched over to make some space on the choir risers for Ellen and Grace, these moments that often get taken for granted, a wildflower appearing that no one had planted. The swings soon resumed their rhythm and sway, and the day turned to night, and the night turned to day. People remembered and would quite often mention that Sally had been paying super extra special attention, and how the world could transfer and change could be made by the smallest girl in the smallest grade.